finally gonna get this on video. <laughs> nice. What's that? <laughs> now is this um what do they call that? Um for traction? Yeah. It is a it is a decompression tube. Yeah. Does that work like air traction splints? Kind of, yeah. It's the same decompression. Same I used thing. to be the dummy when we were doing EMT classes for the air traction splints. <laughs> so then you walk around you like this too. after. No, because no, 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 we always put them on my legs. So then I walk around one leg longer than the other. <laughs> you need it on your neck. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You had a migraine earlier? Yeah. Yeah, I had to end up taking two max halts. Right. Let's get through the day. All right, lay on your belly. <laughs> How are the cars? Oh, we're getting crazy again. Why? Um, taking and I'm spending a little time with the customers when need be. Mm -hmm. And, um, and just, I think they like having questions answered, um, the way I do it. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you know your stuff, man. Well, I'll do my best, you know. And if I don't have the answers, I research it. You know, if you don't blow up the computer. <laughs> yeah, been done. But now I get frustrated. I'm just going to get me too upset before I walk in front of it. My thing lately is the cordless mouse. I keep spares now. I must interrupt the signal or something. You just have to harness your power so that you can move it around with your mind. Yeah, well the thing is, it, it just, when I get so mad, it just it goes out and just shorts stuff out. I did throw a bulb into my kitchen the other day. Because <laughs> uh, of this bug thing. Was, what? Well, they, ever since they broke ground with the new construction, yeah, we got bugs. So I sprayed my unit, and I haven't had a problem. Uh, I guess um, they started getting it through the whole building. Because mm -hmm. we're the closest one to the new construction. Mm -hmm. So they had us all empty out our kitchens, and they brought exterminators in and sprayed down our kitchen. Well, ever since they sprayed it down, and of course it took me hours to empty my kitchen. Since they sprayed it down, I've seen bugs. And I haven't seen any in two months. And I was standing there the other day and I seen three of them run across my counter. And I got so mad and a bulb just popped right of the kitchen sink. What kind of bug is it? Roaches. Mm. Yeah, they're but they're not like big black ones or them freaking tiny roaches. I don't know. I have to call my brother. He's an exterminator. He'd be able to tell me what kind. Doesn't matter, all the merchants to live through nuclear war. But I can't believe they didn't didn't associate it with the digging. You know, they're piling the dirt up against the bottom of our building and didn't figure out that's where it comes from. Hey, remember that time your eye fell out of your head? <laughs> well, that was when I was playing Superman. <laughs> Tried to fly through the windshield. I told you about me having to yell at the doctors, right? No. Yeah, I was in, uh, they were... Put, uh, when I landed at Hershey from uh, Medivac, uh -huh. they were wheeling me back on the gurney and they were trying to look at my, you know, look at the eye and stuff. And I told them they better cover it up or put me under. I said, you're going to screw up the nerve because you can't take and do that while, you know, while you're awake because the optic nerves are attached. 
Oh, I was screaming. Brenda said that's how she knew I was still okay. Because she just got the Hershey. Said, you're yelling at the doctors. I knew you were all right. 150 stitches. Oh, that's the only good bone in my body is my head. You're pretty loose today. How's your spine been feeling? I've been trying to stretch more. Good. But I've been tense. Well, the shoulders had, are tense up here. Wow, well, physical. I had a physical altercation too. That helps. At where? I had a physical altercation. Really? Yeah, at work. Uh -oh. With uh, one of the writers. An underwriter? You well, know, a service writer. A service writer. <laughs> yeah, one of the ones I had problems with. Mm. Some young punk or what? No, on my age. Hmm. That was kind of why I didn't mind the physical altercation. I don't like hurting younger guys. But if they're older, you know, or not, they deserve it. Yeah. Well, yeah. <clears throat> and he has martial arts experience. At least it would be a fair match. Mm -hmm. Was it? I didn't get that far. I tried. Alright, this is uh, already moving down here. We've already had a couple of things. Kind of just slide right in, but we're going to go back and make sure we've got this transition area taken care of and work our way up. So, deep breath in. Breath out. Beautiful. How's the lymphoma today? Uh, let's see. It's about par for the course. Yeah, not too bad. Mm. I don't think it's been getting as big since you've been keeping that T4 in place. Mm. Got that one all the way up to the serving. Oh, my shoulder has been doing a little better too, but uh, maybe see if we can get a little bit again today. Yep. I told you. See, they wanted to operate, but just one time going over it, and it's better than what it's been in the water. Good shoulders sinking in, good hips sinking in, good. Oh no, it's come down a little bit. Good. I mean, the doctors are bound to be right about something eventually, but no. That's why I, I say something to you, I be having surgery. I haven't been bedridden either in two years, so. Well, we're over two years now. Yeah, way over two years. Yeah. We're working, we're working well into three now. Dude, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. it's, think about it, that's 32 years. And I've only had over two years where I've not been bedridden. Two years For, straight. Yeah, two years where I've not been bedridden at all. I was saying something since I was 16. So that's how I, cause they diagnosed me in February of 88 mm -hmm. of DDD. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Perfect. And to think, I got Aflac when I got it offered to me because I thought for sure eventually I'd be, get a payout. <laughs>
Okay, let's do the right side here first. Nice and gentle, we'll bring this over to the side here. Good. Uh, let it all drop in. Seven, six, five, six. Seven, six, five. Well, and you know the other problem with my shoulders too, right? What? The cervical rib. Mm -hmm. The extra bone. Yeah, jump up. So you're gonna lay on your back, your head's on this end. Okay. That's right there. Up higher? A little bit, yeah. Right there. Let's go. What you actually get pinned in here? Nice. Yeah, but this is a perfect position for everybody's lumbar. Yes, sir. You know how many times I was late on a couch like this? Down. Good. Mm. This is my favorite part. Okay, keep your teeth together. What's that? Keep your teeth together. Oh. Wow, I was like everything. Yes, sir. That's pretty cool. Okay. Still kicking. <laughs> That's actually pretty good, uh, because I normally don't have the reflexes on. Mm -hmm. Look at nice and straight here. Okay, bring your right hand to the small of your back here. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Bring your chin to your chest. Good, and bring this up here like this. Good. Okay, now open up your elbow just a little bit and let your wrist fall open. Good. Lean forward. Good. One more. Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever you did last time, that really helped. That, what I just did, right? Yep. Yeah, I mean, it worked it like that. Get one of them pogo sticks for my grandkids. <laughs> this? this thing? Yeah, for my back. Well, I'll get a pogo stick for my grandkids for my back. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, this is. Yeah, I was telling G, uh, one young guy at work, I said, you know, if a chronologist ever read my head, they would lose it. All the times I walked into the lift. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome, man. It was a pleasure.